Hi, it's Diane and this is my vlog, Kuba Kafon. This is the vlog for me talking about things that you would normally put on social media, but I'll give you the flip side, the raw, real, uncomfortable realities that you don't usually hear about. For instance, this weekend I was in a mini triathlon. That's the kind of thing somebody might post on Facebook and then other people give them thumbs up and likes and tell them they're proud of them and everyone feels real good except the people reading this who go, God, I've never done that. Oh man, that person's like got it way more together than me. But no, no, no. Just because I was in a mini triathlon, don't think that at all. Because you're going to be surprised when you hear what it really was all about. First of all, I got a medal, right? That sounds great. Yeah, I can put a picture of that and put it on social media. But what is it? Yeah, parents know. It's just a participation medal. I'm glad they gave it out. I wore it all day. I was happy to wear it. It's a memory of what I did, but it's meaningless because... What place did I come in? Well, there were 399 people in this mini triathlon, okay? It's uh, not a full triathlon. It's not even a major part of a full triathlon. It's just a mini. And out of 399, yeah, I came in 349. Yeah, that's not so great. Um, not really that I expected to do any better than that, but I was beat by, yeah, a nine-year-old kid, <laughs> okay? And that's because... I'm slow. I always have been. Yeah, I'm one of those people that was last picked in gym. I know comedians always say, oh gosh, you know, I was ridiculed as a kid. But yes, I really was. So what did I have to do to get ready? Well, I had to find some goggles. Yeah, I borrowed my daughter's goggles. She used to be on swim team. And I did manage to swim the 10 laps in the pool. It's 250 yards or meters, I forget which, I think yards. But the goggles came off near the end, which was, yes, kind of a pain and you know what else came off as I'm swimming I feel it starts shrinking away from my head yeah there's the swim cap I borrowed that from my daughter too I guess I shouldn't have because that was really a pain when I had like two laps to go but I think that wasn't even the worst part of being in the pool I like to swim but I saw something floating and yes I should admit it but I swear to you it was a piece of crap in the pool. Luckily, I'm not germ phobic, but it did kind of freak me out. Put it out of my mind. I finished the swimming and then, yes, on to the biking. Okay, biking is one of my favorite things in the world. There's my trusty bike. It's pretty old. I've had it since college, but the chain did not fall off. The helmet stayed on, so that was a good thing. So I was able to do my six miles, which really anyone can do on a bike, especially as slow as I did it. It took me 28 minutes to do six miles. And then the next part, oh yeah, the run. And there they are. There's my sneakers. They're actually not mine. A friend left them here. Well, yeah, she stayed with me unexpectedly and then sort of left unexpectedly and her sneakers got left behind and she didn't want them back. And I ended up with them. It's how I end up with a lot of clothes and shoes, but they fit me. Yeah, my first pair of Nikes ever, and they've lasted me now several years, and yes, they took me the two whole miles. So that's the only distance that I had to run was two miles, but you know what? I couldn't even do that. This is my fifth year. The first year, I said, I don't think I can make it two miles, and I'm going to just walk after the first mile. I'll try to run a mile, and I did, and after the first mile, I kept running, and I ran the whole two miles, and I did the same thing the second, the third, the fourth year, and every year it got harder and harder, and I just felt horrible like I was going to throw up afterwards, and this year, once I started running, I said, no, no, I'm not doing that. I can't. My body's not built for running, so after about a quarter mile, I walked, yes. And I actually power walked about the same time that it took me, what was it, like 29 minutes to run it anyways. So if I do it again, which I think I will, I'm walking from now on. But the part about this, why you shouldn't be saying, hey, be proud of yourself for doing it. No, I'm not putting it on social media because if anyone really cared, that would be an indication to me it should be something I should share, right? But people share anyways. But who in my family has attended the five years that I've gone? Um, has my cat? No. Has my husband? No. Always sleeping when I go? Has the other cat? No. Has my daughter? No. Always sleeping when I go? Has my son? Nope. Always sleeping. As a matter of fact, my husband woke up in the morning and I thought, oh, maybe he's actually going to come out. But he just said good luck and then went back to sleep. So they don't care. You shouldn't either. That's Kuba Kafan. I did something, but it's not as great as it seems. No, not at all. But I'll probably do it again anyways for myself, not for social media.